I'm an urban Inuk, and this is everything I ate on my wedding day. My wife made breakfast for the entire wedding party. She made blueberry French toast, new PEI potatoes, a dairy-free chocolate ganache for the fruit, and bacon. Then I had a protein smoothie that I have every morning. As a treat for the big day, I had a donut and a coffee. It was wonderful. Then I got a taste test, my mom's world's famous bannock. It passed the test. My mom went the extra mile to make sure she could get country food down for the big event. She got this biffy, which is dry fish, and this specifically is Arctic char from Kittik Mute Foods, and they ship anywhere that Canadian North flies. It's my absolute favorite country food. I could eat four or five fillets, no problem, of this stuff. My mom made her own mipku, which is dry meat, and this specifically is caribou, for the big day. She made a whole bunch and brought it all down with her. This is miku, or beluga dry meat, and you can get it from Kivalak Foods, and we got this from Ivalu in Rankin. I had to do a little pause just to show off how cute our venue was. It was the perfect little wedding. Then we had a bunch of food after the reception. My father-in-law made his signature ribs, my mom made her world famous baked char with dressing, and my man made her impeccable, incredible potato salad. And then we also had PEI new potatoes. I ate as much as I could, enjoying all of it. It was just incredible that we were able to get so much food. I'm so grateful that everyone pitched in as much as they did. What do you think looked the best? And then had some corn on the cob, because nothing beats corn on the cob in the summer. Then as a palate cleanser, I had some more of my mom's bannock. It was just awesome. Before cake, my mom lit the kulak, which is a traditional Inuit lamp. Then we had some cake that my brother made. It was a layered lemon curd cake that was just divine. He spent so much time on it and it worked out perfectly. The last thing I ate was some strawberry shortcake that my wife made. It was a little bit frozen, but you know us anyway, we like our frozen food. It was just delicious. Kwana, thanks for watching. Take care everyone.